Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we will solve the problem on hoop stress in the topic simple stresses and strain. So for the basic concept related to hoop stress, please refer my previous video. So now I will read the problem. A rigid wheel 3 meter in diameter. It is desired to shrink onto a wheel a thin steel tire. Find internal diameter of tire if after fitting the hoop stress in the tire is 90 newton per millimeter square. Find also the least temperature to which the tire must be heated above that of wheel. E is equal to that is Young's modulus 2 into 10 raised to 5 newton per millimeter square and alpha that is coefficient of linear expansion is equal to 1.2 into 10 raised to minus 5 per degree Celsius. So this is the given problem. So first we have to understand what is the given data. Now here the rigid wheel, uh, diam uh, rigid wheel uh, diameter of tire is given. So here capital D is given because the outside there is the called as wheel and inside there is the steel tire. So here we have to write in the given data that is uh, capital D is equal to 3 meter. So first we will write here given data capital D is equal to 3 meter. Now here if we observe the Young's modulus E is equal to given in Newton per millimeter square. So we have to convert all the dimensions in meter. So we will convert this 3 meter is equal to 3000 millimeter. Now next we will uh, find that, uh, find the internal diameter of tire. So here the given question is we have to find the internal diameter of tire that is the small d. So we have to find d is equal to question mark. Now here if after fitting the hoop stress in tire, uh, it is given that hoop stress is equal to 90 newton per millimeter square. So this is the given data when steel tire is fitted in the outside wheel then hoop stress developed is equal to that is here small p is equal to 90 newton per millimeter square. Now we have to also find the least temperature to which tire must be heated above that of wheel. So to convert this small d into the capital D so that the steel tire will be fitted in that wheel how much temperature is required so we have to find out the capital T also that is the temperature up for which this steel tire is heated to fit the uh, to fit in the outside wheel so here we have given that E is equal to that is Young's modulus is equal to 2 into 10 raised to 5 Newton per millimeter square as well as alpha that is the coefficient of linear expansion is also given 1.2 into 10 raised to minus 5 per degree Celsius. So this is the given data we have to find out the diameter of small uh, steel tire as well as we have to find out the temperature for which the steel tire is heated. Now for the hoop stress uh, which information we have so here suppose we will uh, see that uh, first it is given that small p that is hoop stress is given. Now here hoop stress is equal to stress by strain is equal to Young's modulus E. So here we can also write first we will write stress by strain is equal to E. So this is the hoop stress therefore stress is equal to strain into E. Strain into E that is Young's modulus. Now here uh, what, uh, what is the strain in the hoop stress? So in the previous video we have seen that uh, strain is equal to D capital D minus small d divided by small d. So here therefore hoop stress is equal to now strain means capital D minus small d divided by small d into E. E here Young's modulus given as we will first write only E. Now here E is equal to hoop stress. Here is the value that is 90 Newton per millimeter square. Now we will just put the value. So here we know the capital D 
we also know that e e that is young's modulus so here we will write 3000 minus small d divided by small d into this is the value 2 into 10 raised to 5 which is equal to 90 newton per millimeter square so here now we have to find out the d so what is the procedure to find out d so this is 3000 is the term related to d so this is 2 into 10 raised to 5 we will take to the right hand side so if we take this to the right hand side 90 divided by 2 into 10 raised to 5 so here 90 divided by 2 is 45 so here if we observe that if we will do this procedure here 45 now here uh, in the denominator there is 10 raised to 5 so we will take this value in the numerator so it will become into 10 raised to minus 5 so now we have to simplify this left hand side so how to simplify this 3000 divided by d minus 1 is equal to 45 into 10 raised to minus 5 now here 3000 divided by d now here minus 1 we will take to the right hand side so here therefore 3000 divided by d is equal to 1 plus 45 into 10 raised to minus 5 now here 45 into 10 raised to minus 5 we will simplify this we will take this in the digits so here 1 plus 0 0.00045 now see here how this because here 45 into 10 raised to minus 5 here minus 5 is there so we have to measure the uh, two uh, digits from the right hand side 1 2 3 4 5 and after 5 we have to give here the point so here now we have to find out d so how to find out d suppose we will take this left hand side to the right hand side and this right hand side to the left hand side so what will happen here therefore now we will take this term to the right hand side and this term to the left hand side so here the 1 divided by 1 plus 0 point 3 times 0 45 is equal to d divided by 3000 now it becomes simple to calculate because we have to find out d so to find out d we have to take 3000 in the left hand side and this is in the denominator so it will go in the numerator so here therefore now we have to must uh, take uh, take this addition so here 3000 divided by 1.000045 is equal to d so therefore d is equal to now with the help of calculator we have to do this calculation so here 3000 divided by 1.3 times 0 0.045 so this answer is 2998.6 2998.6 now what is it so unit so unit is we have taken here in millimeter so this unit is millimeter so this is the answer so make the bracket for this so in this way we have find out this small d now we have to find out the temperature now what what is the data we have we have capital d as well as small d we have to find out temperature we have also alpha then here hoop stress is also there young's modulus is alpha also there so how to find out the temperature now here if we uh, remember uh, which is the parameter which uh, related to this t so suppose if we remember we have already calculated strain strain is equal to capital D minus small d divided by small d which is equal to also alpha t which is equal to stress that is p divided by e so therefore we have to find out the terms related to strain so if we find out strain I will make here one section so what is equal to strain so here I will write here strain strain is equal to now strain is equal to uh, capital D minus small d divided by small d which is also equal to alpha t 
which is equal to now stress by strain is equal to e therefore strain is equal to stress divided by young's modulus so here small p divided by capital e now here we have capital d as well as small d also we have alpha also we have this hoop stress p also and we have young's modulus e also now we have to take any two parameter in this so we will take alpha t is equal to p by e now we have to simply put the values in this so here alpha is equal to 1.2 into 10 raised to minus 5 which is equal to multiplied by t which is equal to p that is here 90 divided by e that is 2 into 10 raised to 5 so now this uh, calculation is become simple now here t is equal to now we, he, this term will go in the denominator here 90 divided by 2 means 45 into 10 raised to 5 divided by now this 10 raised to 5 means this denominator term we have transferred here in the numerator so plus 5 becomes minus 5 now here divided by 1.2 into 10 raised to minus 5 now here 10 raised to minus 5 10 raised to minus 5 get cancelled now 45 divided by 1.2 so with the help of calculator the answer is 37.5 now here we have to select the it's a unit now temperature is in degree celsius so here this term alpha is also in degree celsius so here we have to select so this is the answer so we have calculated these two answers that is the diameter of steel dial as well as temperature so in this way this problem is getting solved so please like my lecture share this with your friends also and please subscribe my channel thank you